Hi there. My name is Dr. Tom Dudding. I am a restorative dentist uh, with an interest in head and neck cancer and the work package lead for work package six of Headspace, where we are looking at germline genetics and its um, association with head and neck cancer risk and survival. In this update, I will talk about the activities we've carried out since we were in Colombia in October 2022 uh, and just give you a bit of an overview where, where we've been going. So firstly, we have completed the head and neck cancer genome-wide association study of over 20,000 cases and 50,000 controls from a range of countries all across the globe, but including Europe and South America. In this analysis, we look across the whole genome to see if we can identify single base pair changes or genetic variants which increase or decrease in your risk of getting head and neck cancers. This work has identified over 30 genetic variants that show a really strong, robust association with the different subsites of head and neck cancer. And some of these variants include variants that we've already identified in previous studies before. For example, some that are involved in alcohol metabolism, which is unsurprising given alcohol being one of the strongest risk factors for head and neck cancer. This reassures us that our methodology is nice and robust. We've also identified novel variants that haven't been identified before, including one in P53, which is probably the most famous oncogene or gene that's related to cancers. We're kind of busy investigating this further and in the process of writing these results up for publication in a high quality peer reviewed journal. We've also brought together over 10,000 cases that have long term follow up and are performing a similar style study um, to the one just described, but looking at how genetic factors might influence survival in those patients who have already got head and neck cancers. Finally, we've brought all of this work together and created a resource of our results, which we hope to release in the near future, which will allow head and neck cancer researchers from across the globe to access these results and use them in their research to improve how things go. That's a really brief update of what we've been doing in Work Package 6. There's a huge group of us, um, so thank you to all, all of those people who have been involved. Um, we look forward to publishing these results in peer-reviewed journals for you to read.